It was the receptionist mm-hmm. the whole time. You can start the show. Yeah, she's just there for the day. She's on, uh, you yeah. know, $20 cash in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Smile or you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was some um, Dishonored that I saw there. Zelda? Dishonored. I saw Zelda there. That's the um, Skyrim switch. Oh, yeah. Mm, give me that prey. Is any of this new? No, this seems to be old stuff they've already uh, The great as well. Huh? You can tell they're yes. trying to fill time. Wow! <laughs> Willy wow! And now, please welcome Bethesda's global senior vice president. Was that somebody P. vaping? Of <laughs> course, oh, this is in LA. <laughs> Got a sportsing t shirt on. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> I love the sarcasm. I love you too. You look good? You guys ready to go? As Paula said, my name is Pete Hines, and I'm delighted to be back on stage for Bethesda's fourth annual E3 showcase. Now, we've got all kinds of surprises in store for I'd you tonight. So, face. whether you're here with us, in the audience, or you're one of the millions it's who are watching know. around the world. <laughs> settle oh, in. You're, you're going to learn Get all about the, the different different game. tastes I have. <laughs> Buckle up. Yay. Buckle up. <laughs> our theme this year it's got is legs. Well, <laughs> no, you, you, you don't have to have globe, legs. The incredibly you don't have to wear Ben. Jeez. Sorry. Enablist. <laughs> Disablist. <laughs> as you saw in our intro video, it's not just developers. Everyone at Bethesda is a part of the team that brings our games to life. And that I know that's Sweden. To all of you. Same place, really. Because we create Basically. the world, but you create your own adventures, stories, Commando. and experiences. Oh, don't I'll purge him. There we go. Be nice, Commander. Every day nice to our mods. Strive for excellence. The past year has been an exciting one for Bethesda as we released some of the best games of 2017. Games like Prey, yeah. Dishonored Death of the Outsider, nice. The Evil Within 2, <laughs> Wolfenstein 2. Wolfenstein 2, good game. We even released exciting updates for The Elder Scrolls Online. We brought, we brought full open world VR with Fallout 4 and Skyrim plus Doom VFR. And we even released our first two games for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. So we were thrilled when Metacritic named us the top publisher in the industry with the highest overall view score. Wallenstein 3. What about all Uh of our games? What about? But tonight is about the future. We're here to show you where we're headed. Nintendo? And the games that we're creating that you'll soon be playing. The worlds that you'll be inhabiting in the next year and beyond. That one two so, switch and the arms screwed we're starting up. Starting with a game that we announced a few weeks ago through our friends at Walmart Canada. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that leaked it all. <laughs> they, they thought that was a joke. <laughs> Perhaps best known for their low prices and Skyrim Mobile. To keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. <laughs> started with a look at Rage 2. The shade. <laughs> I like they addressed that. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that Andrew W? That is Andrew W. K. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I used to love this song. Are you ready to rage? Oh no. Those are tight jeans. The, that, that whole outfit. Are you ready to it's rage, like Jordan? Uh, no. No. Me neither. Me neither. This doesn't sound like rage music. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look at that keyboardist. I oh. bet this would have been a lot cooler if it didn't work. 
Andrew. Okay. <laughs> Andrew K. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> WK. Thanks. Bye. It's like he's oh. trying too hard in the pants area, but not hard enough in the shirt area. Or the face. Or the face. Dang. Dang, Ben. <laughs> I mean, that's, his, that's his brand. Big legs. <laughs> Everyone in the audience is like... I think a poor guitarist. Everyone's like, where's the gameplay nobody, in this? Nobody is enthused about this Everyone's right like, now. I bet he gets more applause if he like does like a bar gig or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, I want you to... Uh, you're going to come at the beginning of the press conference where everyone in there is going to be waiting for gameplay reveals and stuff and you're going to sing a song. They're just about... wasting time. They haven't got enough to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna have real problems with the throat in uh, later life. I that they thought this was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what does the WK stand for? Wanted kids. <laughs> Can't have them. Because of those jeans. I adore that he's wearing a dance belt under his pants because they're so thin that they would show off his cock. <laughs> Baltimore's favorite thing is, and the long lost American entry to Eurovision 2018. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. More. Oh, this is painful. At least he has a thick butt. Preach. Preach, Balti. He's committed to so this. We have something committed. nice to look at during this awkward display. How many years out of scroll song? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come out every game they announce is going to have a song for it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want it. <laughs> Let's give it up again through Andrew WK. Fact, just wait for his. Like really short. <laughs> just wait for his Hitler song for Wolfenstein 3. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Hi everyone, my name is oh, Tim Willis, so and I am the studio director at Software. Yes, <laughs> Ned Force. And I'm Magnus Ned Force, game director at Avalanche Studios. Jesus. Ooh. That's how I was like with Melum. And we're here to say Ooh, that, that is my character in Skyrim. Is back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy whacked me into now like the roof of the map. A ton of crazy <laughs> ideas. Uh, I've actually got that belt. started planning Rage 2. And we needed the okay, right someone. studio to bring our... I would not stand next to a man that tall. Now we admired <laughs> the open world chaos in all of Avalanche Studios games. And as we're about to show you... How tall are you, Ace? Big time. <laughs> Just rest your shoulder on him. Your elbow on him. <laughs> That's a man that like swings around and slaps three people. He just like doesn't have control well, over his arms. <sighs> Why do they stay up until half past two in the morning to watch this? <laughs> to watch Andrew WK. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Now they're yeah. definitely not filling, are they? <laughs> yeah. Say something. <laughs> okay, we've got five minutes here. of content well, split out of uh, ninety minutes. This is really a real dream to come true for us. You're very short. Oh, tell us how short. It's perfect for our style of gameplay. But even more exciting than that has been to work with these guys that did software. These guys invented the Ooh, first person shooter. <laughs> that dude definitely is in Skyrim on the right. Yes. <laughs> and they still make the best shooters out there. Carrying they around a club. A lot can we get that guy just walk around carrying a club? So it's been a really great collaboration <laughs> to bring I you the dragon most insane open world shooters <laughs> you have ever played. So Rage 2 transports players into a dystopian future, uh, devoid of I Swedish, I thought you sounded Norwegian. Now you play as Walker, the last 
ranger of the wasteland. Now, you know, I can talk all night about our yeah, guns, please, please don't. The <laughs> we'll show us footage and, and then we'll be on our way. And of course, yeah. then you, know, you won't have crazy, to do this anymore. Uh, open world. Yeah. But I know that you are here to He's see. Got, they've both got the, the Britney game. mics. <laughs> do you really well, have that belt only. then? Do we uh, have Rage 2 playable? It's a little Ace of Spades. No, I card. don't. But it is actually okay. that kind of shape of an ace, but it's um, okay. Okay. facing up. I was, was going to make fun of you a little Rage bit. Two. No, it's a Let's logo for some out. brand. Oh, wow. I can't remember what brand is, but it looks yeah. like a vagina, actually. It's like a oh. uh, ace that goes in. <laughs> yeah, you'd like it. <laughs> Asteroid on a collision course with Earth. <clears throat> so who here wanted a Rage 2? of the Earth's population. Raise yeah. your hands. Chat. God turned his back on <laughs> humanity long ago. Were you wanting a Rage 2, Jordan? It wasn't uh, no. a war. <laughs> Is he still war one? Warming. I say cancel it. It was a fucking asteroid. Just put it out of its misery. I was born in this shit. I said I should do that to crack down three. Parents murdered <laughs> an orphan of this Someone's, wasteland. like, an convinced that that's never going to get released. I ever loved. Welcome to Helden. All left is hate, <laughs> fear, and the need for survival. Rage what? Andy Rose said liked Rage 1. Nothing special. You see, part of yeah. growing up was watching everything get taken from It's pretty, doesn't I it? Stood by Especially when they're in the vehicle. Nothing. That stuff looks good. And now, I'm hmm. the last ranger of this wasteland. And there's only one thing left to do. Welcome to this year. Rage. <laughs> on Xbox Game Pass, Hello, I don't E3, care. And welcome to the world <clears throat> of Rage oh, 2. In a moment, we'll dive I mean, looks pretty. into the Eden spaceport mission, where Walker, our main protagonist, is out Walker, to find huh? a rare artifact that will aid him in his quest to take down the authority. Definitely walk in. <laughs> the authority. If you see it, you can drive it. What could, if I see a rock? Could they not have workshopped that name? Can I can I drive a rock? <laughs> We're getting into into Grand Theft Auto territory there. <laughs> looks cool, says Melon. Uh oh. How much whiskey have you been drinking on? Nah, it looks fun. In the same way as Mad Max was fun. I just don't. I'm not sure of the appeal. What is this game? Yeah, they had some like footage, like sort of fallouty footage of like first person gun wielding walking around. But they seem to be focusing on vehicular stuff a little bit more, maybe. It just seemed like a Doctor, Mad Max 2. Keep your wits about you, Ooh. Walker. The goon squad may look whimsical, laughable even, but believe whimsical. me. Whimsical. It's a game being a game. Yeah, I just. How would you describe this game? Open world action. Kill people. Oh, a bit of just cause there. So it's like just cause Mad Max. I would I would buy this on sale. I would wait for the for reviews. Like, for like nine dollars. If only it's yeah, if only it was Battle Royale, then I'd be interested. It looks stupid. I'll play it. <laughs> Oh no. It's rocket, rocket. <laughs> the fuck is that? That sounds just like Andrew to the UK. Motion sensor activated. That's that guy that was on, wasn't it? The one on the right. <laughs> that is not a face I would sit on. We found it. We wow. found the one. <laughs> Jesus. What? I'll wait for it to be free. It's nice. It's an next level flashlight. Flashlight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All those teeth. Anything can be a dildo if you're brave enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need more Jordan Fly to podcasts. Do we? <laughs> you call it disgusting? I call it realistic, says Minimal. Oh. Nothing better than a teethy blowjob. <laughs> A sensual cheese grater. 
That's my stripper name, by the way. Excellent. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get this from you don't get this from GameSpot's uh, E3 coverage, do you? No. Or kind of funny. Oh my god, this is amazing! Isn't it amazing? I love it. It's amazing. Do you think it's amazing? I think it's amazing. Oh. They were just oh, yeah, kind of funny. They love everything. That's it for the worst. Play Doom to get his experience. Doom. Oh. Are you a fan of Doom? Then Ace. We loved it. I loved how fast it was. Also for you, there is an extra so they're playing the entire game on stream here, or are we going to move on to another game soon? Elevator's still running. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna be in your prayers. Thanks. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> it's just not Christian. Yeah. Anyways, that. Uh... Oh, that's just not Christian. There we go. I can I can do without the the little commentary. Oh hell yeah! I don't I don't need that. <laughs> First time someone's way why am I getting too much gameplay on A3? Yeah, no, just it's the same game. So no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up remembering this conference, but just because of how awkward <laughs> it was so far. Yeah, and you know, I was getting like Borderlands feelings. This is from somebody who's only ever watched Borderlands on Twitch, never played it. I used to get come. I used to get mixed up between Borderlands and Time Splitters. We need new Time Splitters, don't we? It's nice bit of the camera cartoony one. Oh no, Bodlands was as well. What's this? From the Bethesda Softworks, Christian mm. Van Hoos. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Card game. Yay. How's it going, well, they've already released Christian that. Van Hoos, the community manager for the I was going to talk about some... Legends. Yeah, you can tell that it's definitely a man who plays card games. What I think is the best <laughs> yeah, digital card game, game and card made it even better. We don't know new is that cards, next generation Google modes, Glass has got on his head. Play, and much oh more. god. But we wanted to push ourselves even further. So tonight okay, is it for PC? I'm, I'm sure it will be. We will soon be relaunching the Elder Scrolls Legends it is. with brand it's like new, out. totally overhauled visuals. I'm also very excited to let you all know that Legends will be available later this year. says, look at this fetus. On Nintendo Switch, Switch? Xbox One, and Oh, a card game on Switch. I'd play a card game on Switch. Gwent. I want Gwent on Switch. Yeah, no, Melam, I think um, but there's it will no be. no reason to wait to play the game that Apple awarded Best of the Year in 2017. Download The Elder Scrolls Legends for free and join me tonight on PC, mobile, or tablet. And any progress you make in the game will be carried over to the console versions through your Bethesda Net account. Oh. So they can get it on mobile now, but they can't get it on the Switch. Okay. And now, let's take a look at the future. It's 14, Minwoo. And see why this isn't just my favorite card game, but will soon be yours as well. He's, he's not playing, he's going to go drinking. No, are no, they, he's going to show us 20 minutes of, of gameplay of the Elder Scrolls Legends. <laughs> Never stay small. This Never is stay action. small. Yeah. This is story. This is competition. This is easy to pick up. This is hard to put down. This is really boring. This is a five minute train ride. This is a five hour marathon. Yeah. <laughs> this is for any way you play. This is for anywhere you play. This is for strategy fans. Oh my god, she this was directed to do that. A director told her, I need you to look into this camera and make this, this face. This is who want dragons at their command. It's free to play. This is a game where legends are born. Yeah, I switch. This Why did that woman grow a beard? Is for you. That's what women do if they don't shave. I mean, yeah. Women are mammals. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> 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 Ruins sake. the illusion. Jesus Christ, I gotta live the way. Yeah, you just got married. <laughs> oh, are they really gonna announce 
Hasn't, hasn't this already come out, Somerset? We're going to talk about something that's just come out. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Who's this I'm Matt Byroar. I'm the game director on the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, that's that lady thank now. Thank you. Uh, before I get started tonight, I just want to uh, too much. do a shout out. It was really great. We started the showcase tonight with a video highlighting uh, the really talented people that work behind the scenes to make all oh, of these great up. games possible. Show us one. Yeah, get, get on with it. So standing here on stage, I'm representing a whole lot of amazing Mass. people at ZeniMax Online Studios. You should re 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 release. Re re release. They're gonna they're gonna put so, Skyrim in Elder Scrolls Online, aren't they? But at night, I go home, log into Elder Scrolls Online, and I get to play games with you guys, the best gaming Hello, get Elder get in online gaming. Get our cocks out of your mouth. Yeah, my name is uh, Fanny Grabber sixty nine. Uh, who knows me? Just as, uh, you know, we make them <laughs> and, and we play them just as much as you guys. Dang, Mellow. No, he sobered up. Um, you know, so you might not know it, but we're right there alongside. I'm playing there with you. I'm running dungeons. I'm exploring Tamriel, questing. So while you're on the internet, he's there. Raiding my house, PvP, playing with you, stabbing, coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really humbled to say that the Elder Scrolls Online community just keeps getting bigger. We're over 11 million players now. Really? 11 million. <laughs> 11 million people have registered for our newsletter. And over a million <laughs> of those came in just the last year alone. <laughs> and 5% of them replied when we sent out that uh, privacy policy so last update. Year was really great for <laughs> over 11 players. We were named MMO of the year. <laughs> 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 we have over 11 TP full players. We released Morrowind. <laughs> a lot of great DLC, and just last week we, re we released Somerset, the latest chapter in the Elder Scrolls Online. Somerset. <laughs> Somerset a, like, is a county in the UK where everyone sounds like a farmer. Everyone loves it. You Everyone's inbred and all that. Don't explain Elves the, the first time in 20 no. years. <laughs> Um, it's great for new players. If I'll find out when I go there. Playing Elder Scrolls yeah. Online, this is a great chance to jump Lots in and play. Of um, and of course, all side of places. ESO fans are already there. But we're not done there. Uh, we make we make DLC every quarter for. Yeah, uh, they all got that email. Chapters, you know, content comes out so regularly for Elder Scrolls Online. We're already working on our great plans for next year. But before that, <laughs> the next DLC coming out is oh, a dungeon DLC named really? Wolf Hunter, oh. based on werewolves. Right. Oh. Oh. This is such a cliche. <laughs> We're going to announce our next Elder Scrolls and later this game. Year, we have a, a DLC. Story DLC named Merc this is Mine. what I imagine people who've done like Black Marsh. games or fancy worlds so and stuff have all think been asking that it sounds like. Dive into Argonian we've got this new DLC and, and it's about werewolves and setting dungeons. Great. I don't really care about um, Elder Scrolls lore. So there's one theme that runs through all of the Elder Scrolls no, online content, wow. and that is great <laughs> storytelling. From the launch game through all the DLC and chapters, it's really, really what, what holds the game together. But it's not just the stories that we as developers create for you guys to experience. It's also the stories that you create together when you play oh, this great wow. virtual world. So I'm going to leave that with tonight Mello. with a video highlighting just some of the amazing stories and memorable characters that you'll meet on your ESO journey. Thanks, everyone. <sighs> See you in Tamriel. See you in Tamriel. See you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Double K just runs on. <laughs> yeah, where's the Andrew WK song for this? Oh, here it is. <laughs> happy where the... I see him once he's had to soothe us. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. <laughs> Vanilla Wow is going to be a, our. Yeah. I am definitely up for a, an MMO that I know is good. It's been tried and tested. Yeah, everyone has a bit of bondage. What the fuck is this? It looks terrible, doesn't it? Played on a NVIDIA 640. Mm. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> I don't know anybody who didn't get a refund on Bless. <laughs> Lucy got a refund. Uh, a few other people in my chat got a refund. Never even heard of it. It was this MMO that failed in Korea, then it failed, I think, in Japan, and then they thought, you know what, it'll be great in the West, and then it failed. Nothing like a bit of bondage. 
They had over 11 players, so it must be. <laughs> All MMOs have bad starts, yeah, but this one just seems like. Ooh, people have really just not taken to it. Have you played it, Ace? Is that the Disney castle? <sighs> See, I really enjoy the Elder Scrolls lore, but yeah. the MMO doesn't do anything for me. And they like they do a lot with the lore in the game. It's just the, the gameplay itself is just whatever. Is it like a timeline for this? Is this like before or after or? Uh, I think it's after the events of Skyrim, okay. if I recall. I don't play MMOs. I just know the voice actors. That is, that is really cool, Ace. So did they show us the trailer for a game in Sword? Is that what just happened? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. That's good. Somerset came out recently, I think. Yeah, good. Glad we got to Tomorrow. see that E3 then. <laughs> well, it's better than another Andrew WK song. Oh. Here's Wolfenstein 2. Oh, Doom 3. Doom 2. Is this Doom 2? Uh, looks like Doom... That sounds like Doom as well. Uh, it'll be the first one though. Sorry? It'll just be the first game. Now on mobile. <laughs> now on the Switch. Strategy RTS on PC. Oh, I don't think that's Doom. But I don't know, everything's... Uh, is Doom 2 set in yeah, like that? That little pack is from Doom. Yeah, the sound. The rock. Oh, I'm ready for Doom 2, definitely. That's Doom. Oh, there he is, Doom guy. <laughs> Doom guy. <laughs> That's oh. his full name. That's his Christian name. I love that shotgun in that game. Have you played Doom Flight the new one? I haven't, no. Oh, oh. I fully it's recommend it. It's brilliant. Doom 2, yes please. Oh wait, what's this? Doom Eternal. Well, it's an MMO. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do not want. Thank you. Thank you what so is it? Much. Oh, that that I'm fell on the left. Executive producer Kiss. of Doom Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't dry his hair when he Martin, left. Creative director on Doom Eternal. <laughs> well, he looks very nervous to be up there. <laughs> In 2016, we launched our. That guy on the left Doom is stoned. Off his tits. Thank you. In fact, it's a combination of your passion and our team's love of making Doom that has motivated us to he's deliver even more. Oh, he's, he's got a nervous tick. So we're yeah. messing with that, 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 that wedding ring. Oh. No, just seeing all the pretty women is taking it off. <laughs> I'm famous now. <laughs> An awesome, awesome new sequel to Doom. What is a sequel? For the past two years, Why you cut it's Doom been too? so inspiring to hear you guys talk about what you'd like to see next. And I gotta tell you, we're right there with you. Maybe Doom 2 wasn't like, good enough. You want the Doom Slayer to feel even more powerful? Yes, more weapons, more weapons. <laughs> crazy weapons. Well, we got it. Yeah, crazy weapons. You want even more badass demons? Mm. All of the chat. Well, there are twice as many <laughs> in this game. It's the small one's fingers. <laughs> you want to see hell on earth? <laughs> well, we, oh, we, we lost Ben. We <laughs> lost Ben. <laughs> <gasps> hey, Rosie. But what Rosie. we're most excited about is to show you some of the Look things that you wrote. might not be expecting. <laughs> That's right, including a ton of features that we'll have to save for later because our team will be debuting <laughs> Doom Eternal did you see it play too? this August. I did, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'd love for you to join love us live. Love is love, y'all. Love is love. Or, of yeah. course, you can no tune in shaming. online <laughs> to catch all the fun. <laughs> Wait, what did so what? Then we want to I got smelly fingers and I'm head drum, to play oh. Thanks, yeah. everyone. Thank you. Poop has no gender. <laughs> <laughs> Never uh, seen poop. Quake. Um, it is I'm quake. gonna have to kink shame you for that. No, nope. I say we don't kink shame. We just maybe laugh and throw up. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody feeling tonight? Pretty oh high? no, he's not gonna. Oh, oh no, God. what's he doing here? Just is he like gonna break dance? Cup or like crazy high right now, right? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Rosie. Thanks. Hi. I'm Joshua Boyle, community oh, manager gosh. for Quake Champions. He's going to break dance. Name. He's definitely going to break much. dance. 
Ever since the first Quake title was released in 1996, yeah. our games have been shaped by you, the players. Mm. Now that proud tradition continues with Quake Champions, which is evolved I, with community in mind. Oh my god! Always be man. the fastest and most. They're like the shoes you like put the, people on when you send them into a river. Period. Keep them down. Uh, or like the the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. And that's Click them together and you're gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> These days we're hearing a lot of talk about uh, the Quake. Always. Been there why would you wear a shirt without a collar? Look, it's just exactly. kind of like fabric kind of. We started hosting competitions at QuakeCon oh. over 20 years. He's gonna rip his shirt off, isn't he? That's his good shirt. He's gonna rip his shirt open and there's gonna be something in there. And this year we'll expand on our legacy Wait. as the original esport with everything from intense grassroots oh, competitions you have to, add quote, no, to major tournaments at QuakeCon and DreamHack Winter. It looks like a bad chef's outfit. <laughs> it's an ill-fitting chef's whites in black. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, We've been doing this for a long time, and we're continuing to build Oh, Matt, did you put a space after ad, I think? For uh, more than ever or before. is it quote ad? Yeah, maybe it's exclamation point quote space add and then space. But I gotta tell you guys, Poop has no gender. It can't stop, won't stop until we've delivered a game. <laughs> this is very important. For everyone. You said can't stop, Whether won't stop. Can't cook, won't cook. Or a brand new the baby game. to the arena. <laughs> Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> That's why we just added a bunch of new features to make Daniel it even Dwyer easier for you and your friends <laughs> to jump in and get good together. Get good. <laughs> Nobody cares about Quake anymore. Is it 1996? We're still in early access, <laughs> but tonight we want to welcome all of you into the arena. So you've all got a controller under your seats. <laughs> For this week only, you get a we're controller. Opening up Quake you get a to controller. Everyone through a trial of our free to play version before it even launches. I'm pretty oh, sure they offered this last year. Girl, Rosie, them shoes though. Plus, if you get in and download <laughs> this week, you can stay and keep playing Quake Champions for Jordan, free. Jordan, wasn't even Quake after the Champions? Closes. Wasn't Quake Champions beta announced last year, and they said you could play so it? So head to Quake.com yeah, and start playing before, with me <laughs> and all of my Quake family tonight. <sighs> so please play Quake Champions, because no one else is. Don't miss your chance to join one of the most passionate and welcoming communities in gaming. Because it's, <laughs> it's just him. It's just him. For a taste of what you'll be playing tonight, <laughs> after our showcase is over, <laughs> check out our new trailer for Quake Champions. Oh no, not another trailer. How you doing, Rosie? Three, two, wow, really? One. Even Crackdown 2 looked better than this. Or 3, or uh, 3. This looks so bad. I mean, the the original Quake was really bad too, so they're just following tradition. <laughs> Over nine people play this. Play Quake. Flat Quake. Oh no, Rosie's got a bug. Look, it's not a computer bug. You feel better soon. Melum's actually got a fever, Rosie. Have you been kissing? Split you like a table. Split you like a table. Oh, no. I haven't heard that expression before. Think you it, like a buffet. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it? I'm gonna lay you like a table. <laughs> is this a trailer for a game that's already out? Yeah, I think this came out on Xbox 360. Looks like it. So why are they showing it to me? Um, because it's in its pre-alpha or something. Something now. It's not in the beta. It's in. It's back. It's back in alpha. <laughs> oh. So I can play it now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Owl Matt, how are you doing? Hey. Owl Matt is one of my misters. Oh, hey, Mister Mister Owl Matt. We're looking after her. Well, no, she's looking after us. He's even making Jordan blush. Everybody <gasps> shut up! <laughs> shut your face! <laughs> hey. Don't worry, they're going to talk about it for 25 minutes. You'll be fine. We want to send a big thanks to our incredible fan base for your support. We've been so inspired by your passion and enthusiasm, and as a way of showing our appreciation, 
we're rolling out a huge free update <gasps> yes. tonight. Tonight? Next tonight? Time you tonight. Prey, you're going to see three new modes. Story <gasps> mode, oh. new game plus. Oh, yes. I want to play story mode. I want to play story mode. Because that sounds easy. <laughs> but that's just the beginning. <laughs> we are really excited to tell everyone that I want to play Prey. On a new Prey DLC. Oh. An infinitely replayable <laughs> experience called Moon Crash. It's a new twist on Prey where the enemies, hazards, and loot are all different oh. each time you play. Oh. We're so excited. We oh can't my god. I'm, so get I'm getting... Uh, oh. I'm getting triggers from playing that game. Really oh, yes. What do you say, John? I think I, I think I even said in the review that it... The moon is a harsh oh, you cut out. It what? <laughs> It's good that it's got a new game plus because it needs it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, especially with the different endings you can get. It just lends itself really well for replaying it. Mm. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to play this game again. But if there's a story mode, oh, well, I don't know. I kind of liked that you were really vulnerable in it. Watch out here, right? R.I.P. P. Burns. I'll probably start a new game plus. You have to finish it. I finished. I haven't finished it yet, so. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked to hear that, Ben. Yeah. No, no, I did finish it. I did. I oh, got, oh, oh, I thought you said you didn't. No, no, I'm just. Still need to finish it. Yeah, no, I did say that, but I just remembered I did finish it. I got one of the endings, but it was like a game over ending. <laughs> I did the where is uh, where is September ending. That was one that I didn't get. Right round, baby, right. Is it very scary? It is pretty scary. I think I'd play this game, but I'd put infinite ammo mods on it because that just annoyed me. Oh, I loved that. I I loved that you had to like make your own ammo uh, with the with the whole like recycler like and shit. yeah. I really I really love that mechanic. Never gonna play that again. Game is very scary. Yeah, it's really cool though. I thought the enemies were kind of boring just because they all looked the same. But they were ev they were everything though. I didn't I didn't find it scary, but also I finished Resident Evil Seven Biohazard, unlike some people here. I will finish it. Remember July, one of those days. One of the oh, days. Oh July, okay. After the twenty second of June, when I'm working. July. <laughs> all right. Before we begin, yes, mom, I'm still alive. No, I'm not a mimic. Uh, Hang on. That oh, that's cute. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, okay. There. That was close. That was close. I thought we were having a Me Too moment then. Hey, do we know? Yes, I'm going to finish Resident Evil 7 in VR sometime after the 22nd of June. <laughs> like all arcade games, Prey is about playing your own way, and Moon Crash is no exception. So you just saw a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, that's, that's available horrifying rocking. But there's a clip with me. We're not done yet. We have one more surprise Getting coming scared. later this summer called Typhon Hunter. Typhon Hunter is a lethal game of hide and seek, like where one player D &D. goes head to head oh, against gosh. five other players what? who get to be mimics. There's and oh my god, this sounds fun. Like multiplayer. Prey, so the, the expansion is out today then. Disguise themselves as everyday mm, objects. No, so, just the new game modes. You know things like a chair, When's the moon a coffee out? mug, a uh, space banana. I don't know. I think it's said later. Works, but I, I definitely not today. a coworker, right, Susan? Absolutely. Not. I want to play Prey now. <laughs> Wait. Probably this, not. This uh, no. multiplayer DLC sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds, anyway, that sounds really fun. Yeah. Typhon Hunter is a tense multiplayer mode that requires teamwork and improvisation and a very high tolerance for jump scares. Before we go, <laughs> I just want to say thanks on behalf of the whole team at Arcane Studios to all of our fans around the world who have played Prey and love it. We made this game for you, and we are constantly inspired by your creativity and enthusiasm. Thank you so much, everyone. Was that Sayum in the background? Who's Sayum? Just like Gary's mod. <laughs> I don't play Gary's mod. I used to have a student Sayum. that just kept telling me. Sayum. And you're Gustafsson. <gasps> Wolfenstein. Are they really third? Is that getting announced? Hello, oh, friends. Uh, I'm Jan Smartis, the creative director at Machine Games. I love and Wolfenstein. I'm Jan Gustafsson, executive producer at mm. Machine Games. His name is Jerk. His name is Chuck. 
<laughs> Wolf and Jerk. And sparked a revolution in Wolfenstein 2, the Wolf and Jerk, that's my uh, favorite position. As DJ Blaskowitz, <laughs> you rallied the American resistance <laughs> and you beat the living fuck Which end of that would you be on? Uh, I'd be the one howling. <laughs> 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 he's just like, oh, it's like his friend Jack Mehoff. We're embracing our game. Uh, we were honored to win Best Action Game at the Game Awards uh, last December. You wouldn't call it, but just call yourself Jay. And Jerry. we are excited to bring Wolfenstein 2 to Nintendo Switch on June 29th, so June. you can fight the Nazis uh, on the go. June 29th. That's is a week with games. And the Wolfenstein <laughs> revolution continues with our next project, yes, which yes, yes. leaps ahead in time to tell the tale of BJ's twin daughters. What? Wait, what? A spin-off before the Set third one? in the 1980s huh. in Paris, Wolfenstein Youngblood pushes Ooh. the story forward. <laughs> I want to play this. They, they did like a major expansion. So I guess this is that. I heard the and DLC didn't do very well. This game features BJ's twin daughters. Wolfenstein Youngblood Wolfenstein. will be a co-op. <gasps> co-op, co-op, Melon, Melon, Melon. We can be twin twin girls. So while you can play oh, yes. solo, you can also mm. join with a friend to save the world. We're together. like action men. We've got no the resistance privates. Resistance is counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> can I identify it for that game? All right, Harley Boss, let's check Co-op Wolfenstein sounds really good. <laughs> Join you, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to Join you, can you? Yeah. <laughs> God, we've been really racist. I've been fighting all my life for this world. It never ends. <laughs> <clears throat> Exactly, Melon. To survive, you have to embrace the suffering. Is this is the co-op one. Yeah, to stand up and carry it. It's not about the pain you can deal. It's about how much you can take. It's do or die, sis. <laughs> Just like Papa taught us. Just laugh. Oh, it's flighty. Do you do the voice? <laughs> Speak my language. You want me to translate for you? Gah gah gah! Kill Nazi scum. Yeehaw! Nazi comes. Positively erect. Me too. W nine. Can you mean negatively erect? Oh, that's what goes inside. Out of our history of innovation, and that includes breakthrough VR technology that we revealed at E three twenty twelve. Since then, VR. we've delivered some of the very best VR experiences in gaming, from Doom to Fallout 4 to Skyrim. I still haven't got onto Fallout 76 or done. the new one. Two of the franchises that we just heard about are going to also <laughs> offer VR experiences. So, when Prey's Typhon Hunter is released later this summer, you'll be able to experience the competitive move, mode that Susan and Ricardo were just talking about in virtual reality. Ooh. And... It will also include a single player experience. I appreciate the boots of trans star employees working to solve puzzles aboard the Talos One space station. Trans star I'm also employees. Also excited to announce a new Wolfenstein VR game. Wolfenstein in VR. <sighs> it's called Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot, in which you play a hacker who can take over Nazi robots and turn these war machines against their masters. And our <laughs> Ever-ending quest to bring the message of fuck Nazis to every platform possible. <laughs> oh, you. <yeah. laughs> mm. Both the Prey and Wolfenstein VR experiences are playable this week at our booth at E3, so please stop by and give them a try. I appreciate developers that... Now, Stick we with are VR. really excited about everything that we've shown here tonight, but I know there are a lot of you who are really here or really wondering about the new Elder Scrolls. Fallout 76. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oblivion Remaster. <laughs> and I'm pleased to tell you that you'll find out tomorrow. Finally <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fucker. he's a recipient of numerous Lifetime Achievement and Hall of Fame awards. He's the game director of a Trump. studio that has won a bevy of accolades and awards. 
And he's here tonight to tell us what he and his team oh, have been taking so damn long to tell us all about. It's what his favorite. Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. Oh, no. Yeah, if I see it's your favorite. Oh, she's wearing a sofa. Jesus <laughs> this like... Oh. Don't watch the Bethesda documentary if you don't like that dude, because he's in it a lot. Oh, look at his boot. Oh my god, douchebag, just all over. That's how you communicate it with, you, with your clothes. Mm -hmm. What is Jacket Monster's shoes? Looking good. Oh, it's great to be back at E3. Thank you, thank you That's so much. That's another dude who got out of the shower without drying his hair. I'm excited to be here. I want to thank all our fans who came out tonight. The Bethesda rock star. Melon says and he's kind of a big deal. Of you watching online. We can't I mean... thank you enough. That's cool, this is I guess. actually my 25th year at Bethesda, and I have five dollars and five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen a lot of cool things in that time. I got to say, tonight is definitely, definitely one of them. I got to go to the very first E3 right here in Los Angeles. I know they're so cute when they're little. It looks about no. thirty. <laughs> they're full of energy and life. And then, uh, remember when little E3 ran away from home, went to Atlanta? He's trying to do stand-up, and yes. he needs you, to stop right come. now. I liked Atlanta, or East Coast. And then For E3 real, w went through the, the moody teen years and came back and locked himself oh my God. in his room. Remember, it was in the He's got a really whiny center. accent. <laughs> Nobody cares, Todd. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and I can remember literally <laughs> walking between the halls Fallout, and seeing Todd. nobody. I was like, this is how a zombie movie starts. <sighs> and now E3 has grown Laugh. up. It's in its 20s. <laughs> it's more confident, can handle its alcohol better, like all of you. Thank oh you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, all those, past, those really patronizing tweets. Did you see them? So there's a good, there's a good party. I've been going to E3 for, so for years, and I need to tell all those people coming here for the first the way, time, you need to stop while. drinking because you people will remember and that. E3 and like, oh my God, so it's just such an incredible yeah, week of entertainment. Yeah. But we know that most of you came here for one thing. Elder Scrolls Online. Who said Thank that? <laughs> Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Bethesda give you free beer. I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. <laughs> oh, he went there. Well, I think we have the best one yet. I love it was Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls speak of the past. Oh, it is. And the future. Now, Skyrim this looks to the future. This feels trolling. Yes. This is totally a joke. You think there's wasting more of my time. <gasps> yes. Or the rock it's 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 keegan michael key oh he's an amazing comedian alexa oh play skyrim oh. you're level 57 and see a tall snowy mountain <laughs> what's he in now skyrim and that i've seen he's from he's from key and peel a mud crab scuttles towards First you off. i didn't catch that First off. i didn't Kim catch that. Off. <laughs> your shout echoes all the way to sovengard what happened Fusroda, that's the command for knocking things over. Is there a command for picking shit up? Have <sighs> reached that level yet? I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ooh. The dragon unleashes fire breath on you. Okay. You have seven percent health left. Oh shit! Uh, I, I drink a health po potion. You are out of health potions. Oh, uh, oh, oh! This is. Uh... How many of cheese do I have left? Four hundred and seventy-three. I eat all the cheese. <laughs> I eat all of the cheese. All the... Hey, hun. Um, remember what the doctor said about dairy? Yes. Right. Yes. Of course. You're the greatest. Thank you so much. It's a game, mate. I eat all of the cheese. <laughs> Introducing Skyrim, very special edition. <laughs> also, <laughs> to sketch. It's just. Motorola pagers. Oh. And your Samsung worker. smart refrigerator. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know, they're making jokes about it, but they still did it. <laughs> that's like 
being racist and then saying, oh, I'm sorry you were offended. Had to, had to do it. Yeah. Had to do it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, really. Uh, we both know why you're here and now <sighs> to talk about the next Fallout. So, talk about it. Finally. Fallout 76 Only is a an hour late. to all the other games, and it's our biggest one yet. It is four times the size. It's four Fallout times 4. the size of Fallout 4. <laughs> Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. <laughs> yeah, this has been really painful. This is the same are fucking thing. Oh Both my are. god, they're gonna show us the same goddamn trailer. Why that that is that is already available on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I must be kinda of creepy being out there just seeing all the bombs go. I mean, at that point, like, you're gonna die, so you might as well watch, you know? I'll be pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever felt you like ever... a plastic bag? <laughs> <laughs> Floating through the wind. <laughs> 300 years after our great nation began, you're gonna Night go to bed together to honor the completion of Vault 76. You go to bed at this time? This, Do you mean I just, this has been announced? This sprawling underground shelter oh, may have God. been engineered by Ugh. the tech, but it was it's built by here. you. <laughs> so that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. I hope they let me uh, buy some cosmetic loot boxes to get nicer fault uniforms. <laughs> You start, out with the, you start out with the yellow numbers, and then you can upgrade to the gold numbers. I saw there was a mod for Fallout 4 where you could have the pride uh, colors on your uh, 111. Oh, to, to separate you from all of the normies. <laughs> Make me to the place. <sighs> Oh, Why y'all just survive. leaving that armor there? Grab it! Wear it! For when the fighting is stopped, John Denver I'm, fall out. Fall out I'm glad that Ron you Perlman is still getting work. <laughs> not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts. Oh, I've actually just started to play through Rosie. And ultimately, yesterday. America itself. I've only got two mods though. Vault 76, our future begins. Yeah, this is interesting. You've never roommated with Ron Perlman, eh? How much is your 70s music in Fallout? What is vault going on? Vault 76, one of the very first vaults to open, oh, was see you, built nine. to celebrate America's tercentenary. Ugh. Which is an awesome word, by that's the a mistake. way. Like, that's your word of the night. Tercentenary. That's why it went downhill. <laughs> you are one of the very special few selected to be an occupant and spend 25 years underground waiting for that's not, reclamation that's not enough time. Day, the day the vault opens. Oh, <gasps> gameplay. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. Oh, pseudo gameplay, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Interesting. Is Fallout 3 like another one? Because Fallout 4 just is it's complete chaos and you go out and you're not even meant to go out. Do you Are you meant to be leaving in Fallout 3 when you leave? No, not really. no. no. This might be like one of the first. Actually, go out. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. Oh, I hate it. Is. <laughs> she sounds super evil. Mm. But you all share Get a job. Very oh. <laughs> <trait>. you <laughs> are Scroungers. Best 
<laughs> scrounge long enough. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Play Yakuza, Ace. There are so many games within that game. <laughs> Washed with radiation. Is that the Bethesda logo, like the vault opening? Uh. And it's just the Fallout logo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice. Looks stunning, yeah. We yeah. always start with the world, and this time it features all new rendering. Lady Hitler, like from Venture Brothers, Baltimore. Technology. It allows us to have 16 times the detail and times. even view distant weather systems oh. across the map. Wow, you can see weather systems across the map. That is awesome. Now, most people don't know West Virginia that well. Look at that map from Bits Fallout 4. It's an array of natural wonders, towns, and government secrets. This is where the actual nuclear secrets are. And the nuclear, quest oh my god. Will take you through oh six my god. distinct regions, oh my each here. with their own style, risks, and rewards. This looks amazing. There's plenty of cool new Fallout creatures, and we even oh, was that a red star that West I saw? Virginia to bring our Fallout versions to life. Oh, that's a Virginia folklore thing. Zer, that's Zer. Smeagol. <laughs> oh, we've got the the Ewoks over there. Oh, those ones with the little eyes on the, in Star Wars. We always wanted to tell that story. Sand people, is it? Be like for you was that racist? Oh, the other characters uh, yeah. Who were first to leave the vaults. Jawas. Jawas. <laughs> but there is one big difference with this game. It's, it's that Battle each Royale. of those characters <laughs> is a real person. Mm. Why are they cheering? He said the because, yes, characters are real people. Fallout online. 76 is entirely online. Oh boy. Oh. Any booze? Any booze? Oh. Okay. I know. There's a lot. Uh, you have like a thousand questions right oh, now. Oh, fuck. No, says Min So I'm going to go through them in order. I have lots of now, statements. I'll hit a couple of the big ones. First, no, you of can't course, play online. You can play this solo. All right? Okay. You'll You'll be who you want, exploring a huge world, doing quests, experiencing a story, and leveling up. Okay, we okay. love those things about our games, too. It would not have it any other way. But also, like many of you, we have always wanted to see what our style of game could be with multiplayer. So many of us talk about experiences in our games but we've never experienced that. I heard this was meant to be in Fallout together. 4, but they so about four years ran out of time, ago, and then they just expanded on it. We hit upon an idea that is perfect for Fallout. Open world, survival, every person and character is real. And it was an idea that we just couldn't shake. Wait, every we person, knew including... We had to do it and do it in a really big way. Traders and stuff? Now, I know you may have played survival modes in like some of I would our be previous into that. games. I would be into being a scavenger. Games, hmm. And we, you know, people wonder, is this hardcore traders, survival? I like to think of it maybe, <clears throat> it's more softcore survival. <laughs> maybe that should softcore. be a new ESRB descriptor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Death. <laughs> never means the loss of progression or the loss of your character. Your character isn't tied to one server. As a matter of fact, you'll never even see a server when you play. You'll be in a world with dozens, not hundreds and not thousands of other players. It's the apocalypse. It's not an amusement park, okay? <laughs> and you'll be able to join your friends Whenever you want, Yay. and all of your progression. Friends, say goes friends want to play. What if I have 37 friends that I want to play with? Mm -hmm. Can you buy a server? When we think about games. Pay for a server? We think about worlds. Oh, yeah, go Second Life on us. That you can mm. make. Conan. The stories that you create and tell yourself. By creating a wide open world with very few rules, 
We have a game more than any game that we've ever done where the choices are yours. Oh, God. Where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes, and you'll decide the villains. Just imagine if we'd had a drinking game Look, where it was every time it was like, it's your choice, you make decisions. And fortunately, our friends at vault -Tec have made <laughs> a series really of it. informational videos for when all of us emerge together. Oh, please tell me there's a fallout shelter for it. Baltimore, don't you tell me who my friends are. As you venture out into this <laughs> new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Oh. Cool, so you can attack each other. Yeah, that's cool. That oh, I wonder if you get to have your own... Uh, you won't be able to own any property or anything. It changes every... It so constantly changes. That server thing will stop there being a... Uh, Yeah, that server thing will stop there being a problem with um, Chin up there, sport. like the Not all player base going down. Will be so hostile. Find them <clears> and brave the new world together. Whether yeah, sure you choose we'll to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that! Getting some 50s soundtrack getting all up in there. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, can you really <laughs> do that? I'm up for this. Hey Rob! Rob is here from the Caribbean, Rob. John. Hi Rob. <laughs> How's your holiday? Oh, a moat. Can't wait to buy a few of those. Do we think it's free to play? I yeah. agree with you, Balti. No, Andrew the BK. That's disappointing. Like previous Fallouts, you can play this game solo in Quest. But the easiest way to survive in the Wasteland is to team up mm. and build together. And in this one, you can build wherever you want. And you can also then move that to wherever you want. But if you're changing servers... After thermonuclear war, man's towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with cats. The construction and assembly mobile platform. The graphics in this. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. It falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. But don't become too attached too quickly. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> the home of so tomorrow annoying. may undergo certain challenges. <laughs> oh, After that looks a cool. crisis, work with your neighbors to ensure success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. Document your adventures. Your memories there will no shape I a new nuclear waste American in. dream. What's that sound? <clears throat> this game is clearly done. They've got like photo mode already in it. Yeah. There goes the neighborhood. They could release this tonight. I bet they're gonna <laughs> say the beta is out very, very, very soon. Oh God. God. Now we love dynamic game systems. I love the fact you can see the weather. Why don't we put Multiple nuclear missile sites on the map. Uh, <laughs> really? Are they gonna and nuke? then let all of you do whatever you want with them. Nuclear. Nuclear. 
New cooler. This episode, Atomics for Peace. When you emerge from the comfort and safety of your vault, the world you know will have changed. <laughs> All right, Rob. Friendly old See ya. neighbor Johnny. <laughs> Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, I haven't got my resolution that high, I'm afraid. Over for murder. Fuck you. The time has come <laughs> to seek out greater means of protection. Have a great holiday, Rob. Armaments. The, the guy in the That's video right. pronounced it correctly. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. <laughs> Gently coax them into cooperation. <laughs> Gently coax them. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. Of the humor. I thought I said everybody on there was going to be every person you see in the is likely a person. Event you don't acquire a full code on your own. Do yeah, that that up. was probably a zombie, a ghoul, wasn't it? Might be a I thought that was a ghoul. You'll have that nuclear launch <clears throat> code in no time. DPI is too low. <laughs> With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider oh your target Oh my god, that's carefully. amazing. Can I just nuke Attention. your base? Yeah. <laughs> Activated. Don't nuke my base. That. I'll nuke your base. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, he did build my. He's been on quick play. Don't think those missiles are designed to travel Will two miles. Will your bomb land on a rival camp of degenerates? Yeah. A random stranger? The local wildlife? <laughs> oh. Whatever your target may be, take advantage Don't nuke of the my beaver. fallout to gather rare and valuable so much fun. resources. Do you get you know, the image at the top with the the enemy health and stuff and like I don't yeah, know the display seems very kind of fifties. come without risk. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. <laughs> yeah, you only have to pay ten pounds DLC uh, microtransaction per atomic <laughs> bomb. Yeah. We know you've played a lot of our games and a lot of online games. But this one really is unique. We have built a platform. Got a month. A hundred percent dedicated servers that will support What's your guess, John? this game now and for years to come. I say August. And look, look, I think it's we done, know so... this is new for all of you. It's new for us. Mm. It's a little bit yeah, scary. Right. It'll probably need some and kind of beta. And yeah. we're gonna need your help. Oh yeah, we need yeah. your help. There you go. Going to have a beta. Free labor. Beta, beta, yeah. Free labor. <laughs> when, when, Free labor. When? Now, it's going to be. sponsored by our friends at vault -Tech as well. Is it now? The Break already. It Early Test application. Is it now? Is it now? My <laughs> Break It Early Test application. Okay. Because evidently, these oh, online games are hard. They can have some what nasty issues. Going to launch you right now. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> I did. I read it on the internet, so it's true. <laughs> and that uh, sometimes self aware, but don't want to fix it. It doesn't mm. just work. Anyway, we know together that we are going to build something uh, really special, and we no, also know out right now. that all of or you tomorrow. love our special editions, and we have an awesome collector's edition for you. Uh oh. It starts with a map of the world. I was like, your guess. It glows in the fucking dark. <laughs> Don't give a shit. Where's the beta? Uh, it's I was kidding. Mm. So cool. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, it comes with figures you can put on the map. And it also comes with a Fallout collectible that really I've always wanted, so we made them for everybody to buy. And here it is. Is it a pit boy? Right. Another one. Straighten up and fly right. Was it a helmet? Straighten oh! Fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Ain't no use I wonder if they had, like, SKS props. What's That's gonna cost a lot of money. Cool down, Make it. Papa, don't you blow your top. Ooh, invisible. It will be the most plasticky, horrible piece of shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be made of, like, stainless steel. Being your years off. <laughs> yes, all of this 
the Fallout 76 so small, it'll Power Armor fit your Edition. Head of your cock. So you're probably wondering, <laughs> when is this game ah, coming ah, out? There we go. Oh, oh, it's the end of October, right? Oh, wait, wait, it's changing, it's coming out. Oh, 18. It's coming out this year. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Um, the fucking beta then. That's quite far away, actually. Yeah, it's quite new. When's the beta? Thanks again for all your support of Fallout. It's been 10 years since Fallout 3, our very first one. Bob says you'd wear that in and the bathroom. It's been job. an incredible journey with all of you. We you do have him? another Fallout <laughs> anniversary that we are celebrating here at E3. I told you. It is the three year anniversary oh, no. <laughs> of Fallout Shelter, which we oh, announced. Shelter. I thought it was going to be a. And released remaster. right here at E3. And we have some cool surprises for you. I like Fallout, Fallout Shelter. Shelter is coming Switch. to the PlayStation 4. Today. And because that guy said it, it's also coming to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I'll play that on the Switch. It's rubbish though, isn't it? You no, I really it like it. The Joy -Cons I love it. Touch yeah, controls. Mean anything. It's a it's <laughs> it's a nice it's little base builder. Free. If you like base uh, builders, it's a it's a good game. I played it for like a good three days. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. That's like a hundred years in real and people years. Say, these versions bad. are coming out tonight. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played um, a mobile game for longer than uh, half an hour. So Fallout Shelter for Again, three days. Thank you so much for yeah, your support. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. All that we do coming here tonight. When we see Bethesda's website is five oh four. Our games have touched. It's incredibly special, especially Fallout Shelter. That game has been played by over a hundred. And 20 idiots. million people. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> 20 million idiots. That is more people than every game that we have made combined. Mm. You haven't made that many games. Incredible. It does kind of make you stop and realize that our games can have new lives Thanks, on Obama. any type of device or system. And you know, when we looked at the iPhone 11 years ago, we had a few ideas for mobile games. Fallout Shelter was one of them. And we did have another Fallout one on that's another that mobile was one? far, far more ambitious. Fallout, one Fallout 3 on, it. is Fallout 3 on iOS. And it's in the other franchise Skyrim. that you love from us. Oh. Skyrim on mobile. It is called <laughs> The Elder Scrolls Blades. Um. What are you doing, Todd? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like Fallout Shelter, Maybe cares, Todd. we wanted an experience Todd. that we were not finding building. anywhere else. Elder Scrolls Castle. And here it is. Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. A oh. At its heart. First-person RPG with console-quality graphics. Really? But with a uniquely mobile experience believe me when i say you have to see this running on an iphone 10 this gigantic you can screen only play on does iPhone not 10. do it justice you can tap to move or use dual sticks combat is all new and it follows your specific movements yeah and that, timings. that person needs to cut their fingernails i hate this <laughs> Oh no, Todd. gems. Harkening back to the first Elder Scrolls Arena. Yes, they did, Rob. This game features both <laughs> they, they handcrafted and procedurally generated dungeons. Oh, more info about Doom 2, though. And it's not just melee. You have a range of abilities and spells you can use. This is my thing. This is dumb, Todd. <laughs> Nobody cares, Todd. And of course, you can create your own character and be who you want to be. <sighs> Improving them, leveling up, picking new abilities. I don't have an iPhone because I'm not a douche. Nor am I writing my novel. And <laughs> Your the screen entire play. game yeah, can exactly. be played in portrait mode. Uh. Stop with the finger. <laughs> that one was incredibly important to us. And you could play it however you want Do you think that's a lady or is that just a man with really manky fingernails? You never know when you'll need a free hand. Who knows? What? Did he just make a wanking reference? To hold your coffee, what do you... Yeah, he made a wanking reference. He made a wanking joke. Oh, <laughs> God. 
God, Todd. Oh, Todd. That's so Todd. Todd. <laughs> It's could have given that hoe a manicure. Oh, so like, it was <laughs> in this game of wank, you know. Get a hoe a manicure. I'd tear my dick off if I was playing it. Because <laughs> you're wanking so hard? I'd be no, concentrating on my dick. Just broad. <laughs> Which would you be focusing on? <laughs> Use your dick as a stylus. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Rosie not in here? Yeah, Rosie, we need you in here. Blaze has several modes of got play. Got Battle Royale. Has it got Battle Royale? First, God. The Abyss. Jesus Christ. A rogue-like experience where you can see how far you can go. Right, really go now, Jordan. Well, shave, for fuck's sake. Yeah, Rob says shave. Where you will do Look up and Rob, you leave for two minutes and he gets a pussy duster. And the main mode, <laughs> the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. I mean, it looks very nice. You are a member of the Blades. The Empire's <laughs> top eight. Play this on your iPhone and Forced battery goes in down. Exile, <laughs> you return home to find 1 your every second. destroyed and need to rebuild it. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide yeah. what your town looks like mm. and be able to upgrade and decorate all of the this is such a mobile game. in it. As your town levels up, you'll unlock Leveling new enemies, quests, mm. and more. It's nearly 5 a.m. here, probably, yeah. visit your friends' towns. Yeah, do you move any faster than this? <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Someone's gonna get murdered. <laughs> Sorry, Todd. <laughs> this is an Elder Scrolls game <laughs> that you can play however and wherever you want. And we are gonna bring blades to every device and system Known to we man. can. Phones. PCs, consoles, also Why would virtual you bring that to PC? reality. Yeah. On oh, virtual like, reality. All the way up like how they fucking brought Republic VR. to PC. Oh my god. This is the new Skyrim. What's really cool is all of those connect to each other. So one of my dreams. Mostly while you're pooping. You can play when you're pooping. I like to call meeting mode. Because if you're in a meeting on your f playing a game, in portrait mode, no one knows. You're playing a game. <laughs> well, you're still on your fucking phone. Yeah. And so with Blades, I'd be pissed off you if you were in a meeting on your phone. Playing Blades against someone at home in VR. Oh my god. Oh wow. Blades is coming this <sighs> fall. Pre-order. You're pre-ordering phone. What? Why? No. If it's free. Ab absolutely not. Thing, you know. Absolutely not. Why would you pre-order pre a free game tonight? On both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Why would you also this week pre-order a free game and register for early access? If you're here at E3, yeah. Blades <laughs> is going to be playable in our booth. So please come by and check yeah. How many it out. E3s do we you see really this need game at? See it running on the phone. We'd love to see you. Please come by. I hope it tanks, Todd. Sorry. <laughs> I hope it fails. I just want to thank you all again, all of our fans here, everybody watching God, online. I just want to rip all that of your jacket off and burn it. Over the years, it is so exciting to show you all that we have coming out this year. Has it got a new and one? And it is an honor and a blessing oh, oh, oh. Oh. to represent all of the incredible oh. people at Bethesda Game Studios. We have three offices now in Maryland, Montreal, okay. and Austin. There's a lot of them Went here to tonight. Talk. I want them to hear your appreciation for their work. What's this, uh, what's this about your other IP, Todd? Can I see your other IP? Or was it Doom? Was that the other game you were telling us you were showing? Oh. I'm tired, Doom. Todd. Come on. Wrap it up. Uh, it's going to be done in five, like 50 minutes. Oh, Go Todd. home, Todd. Like that, that two pay off his end, set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, Todd's actually only Just four foot five. The best team and group of people I could ever hope for. Ama amazing. Yeah, save um, that for the Christmas party. Show us something good. We also thought since we're all here together tonight and it's so special, maybe we do something a little different too. Oh, Take no. More Andrew WK. <laughs> and tell you what we have coming beyond this year <gasps> in the future. Skyrim 2. <laughs> We have also <laughs> been working on the Sky a brand Ring. new next generation next gen. single player game. Next generation. Single player. That's, is that the first time we've heard about next gen? But this one is in an all Specifically, new yeah. epic mm. franchise. 
Oh my god. First it's a clicker game. Holy original <laughs> franchise in 25 years. When's the beta, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> it's a clicker. We're excited to announce our next adventure. Oh god, this is big. Hmm. Sci-fi, yeah? Don't let me down. Is that Earth? Don't think that's Earth. Yeah, it doesn't look familiar. Or is that Africa? <laughs> Can't wait to hear uh, Andrew. Okay, sing for this one. Ooh, look at this. Look at the graphics on that. That is definitely next gen. Oh, it was called Starfield. Everyone's going to analyze that, aren't they? So, come on, Todd, give us some more. Tell us. Starfield is a game that we have spent years thinking about and working on. Something we feel uniquely positioned to pull off and that we're incredibly excited about. But we're also building toward the game <laughs> after that. It launches oh, tonight. Oh, God, he's nice and it's the one you keep asking about. Oh, my God. What? Todd. Todd, what Which are you one? doing? Which one? Mad Kent. It's going to be Elder Scrolls. Really? Elder Scrolls Mad six, would it be? Or is that Skyrim? Oh, my God. Oh. Is yep. this really Elder Scrolls? It's, it's the music. Yep, they've got the music in the background. What? I did not expect this. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh. Dang. Oh, it's six, which, yeah. Which province? Somerset. Is oh. oh, boy. 2025, I want to say. That was such a nothing preview. Okay, actually, now I'm really done. I just want to thank you all you for your say time Elder tonight. Can't say We knew it. Hey, we're we'll making a game that uh, is going to make us money. All right. That was. Oh, they shouldn't have shown that. That was, uh, that was that was such a nothing bullshit thing. Oh. Uh, I, I could have made that please. with my video editor. <laughs> I think they just knew they had a week conference another and they thought we'd better check out the scores on here. Um, Why is this guy still here? It's over. When I was like, the team up here like once every three E3s, but boy, when he shows up, he brings the goods. Thanks also to all of our studios and teams around the world who are so dedicated to giving our fans the very best games. If you're a gamer on any platform of any kind, we think we've got something for you. And I hope you're as excited about what you see tonight <laughs> as we are, whether it's a new Fallout game, a new Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda Game Studios that you can play on your phone for free. Rage 2, Doom okay, Eternal, that. Just and okay, so much that. more. Doom, yeah, We're sure. really excited. Now, remember, if you want to be one of the first to play <sighs> Elder Scrolls Blades or join the Fallout 76 beta, you need to go to BethesdaNet and register. It's easy and it's free. Mm, it's not easy if the for site's all of you down. Here with us tonight, yep. Thank you so much for joining. The party is going to continue afterwards for everyone else <laughs> around the, the world. This is the start of a Hidden Thank Valley so commercial. <laughs> everyone have a good night and a great E3. <laughs> There's a .NET, yeah, you can't access right now. <laughs> oh, did they just kiss? <laughs> they didn't Welcome know each back other. To E3 on Twitch. It's 2017. This oh is my the god. End. Oh. No, 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 no. That dude on the right is just trying to get onto Bethesda.net. <laughs> nope, still can't get on, still get on. Alright. Uh, Bulma says the site is not down. It wasn't loading for me. Yep, yeah, it's not loading for me. It's down. Look at that beautiful, beautiful nothing loading. All right. Well, that was Bethesda. Give me that prey goodness. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I need it right now. That free prey update does look cool. Um, I'm I'm like opening my Steam right now. So I mean, I'm kind of shocked that Fallout 76 isn't August, isn't summer. Mm. 
It does seem very finished. Depends where, it depends when that beta is and yeah, how open it is, I guess. Like potentially that game could be launching in a couple of weeks. But apart from that, yeah, I'm looking forward to so this co-op Wolfenstein sounds good. Don't care about that. Uh, Doom sequel. Yeah, obviously Doom. Uh, what was the subtitle on Doom? It wasn't Infinite, was it? No. No, Infinite was uh, Halo. Immortal, was it? Doom Immortal. Why not Doom Two? Maybe this one hasn't isn't copying off the second one. Yeah, Eternal. Eternal. All right. Well, I, I think it's time for us to go to bed as it's five a.m. here. Yeah, y'all need to get some sleep. It's but, a it's a cool ten p.m. where I am, so I'm gonna go out and get some drinks. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna stay up for like another hour or two just uh, eating because I haven't really eaten much and <laughs> I'm starving. Uh, it's five a.m. Even though it's five a.m. Yeah, but I don't work till very late tomorrow, and I'm gonna be up very late tomorrow as well. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow, um, as soon as I get home, we'll be watching the Square Enix, Square Enix pe- uh, press conference, which will be at uh, half past midnight, half 11 uh, UK time. Straight after that, it'll be Ubisoft. Can't wait for that. Uh, and then hopefully we've got time. Well, no, it, the PlayStation 1 is going to be live tomorrow uh, if we have to cut off. I mean, maybe Ubisoft will watch first. So that's going to be more interesting probably than Square Enix. Because uh, they're just going to show off that Life is Strange game, aren't they? Um, and then if we've got time, yeah, watch as much as Square Enix as possible, then go into the live PlayStation one. And then it'll be yeah. the Nintendo one on uh, Tuesday. Yes. Good shit. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for, uh, for joining me. And I'll see you, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you, babes. See you later. All right, and everybody in the chat, if you just stick around for a second, I will send a host over to somebody who is on. I haven't finished a stream this late in so long. Let's see who is who is online. Maybe they have not streamed uh, sent over in a while. Let's send it over to uh, Drew Linsky. Really nice dude. All right, catch you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.